Hello and welcome back to On The Workbench. Today we're taking a look at this product from Ego. This is the 150 watt Power Plus Inverter. This is a simple inverter generator designed to attach to a ordinary 56 volt battery. It's part of the Ego Power Plus system that you can use with the lawnmowers, leaf blowers, trimmers, and other assorted yard tools. But this allows you to bring the power of these batteries indoors in a variety of creative ways or elsewhere outdoors and on the go camping or perhaps elsewhere. And so what this does, this snaps onto the battery. And so here's an ordinary battery. And then if we look at the back side of this, you can see we've got the blades and we've got the tool and this just clips right in. There is no actual uh, release button for this little uh, clamp that locks in. All the tools, other tools have a push button release for it. There is no push button release for it on here. So this is simply slides in and then to turn it on, you press the power button and then this provides one outlet at 150 watts and two USB ports. So 150 watts divided by 120, it works out to 1.25 amps. So that'll be enough to run some lights, uh, power a laptop. There's going to be certainly some technical limitations. You're not going to be able to run an electric chainsaw off of this uh, or a variety of other tools. You'll need a much bigger and their full size inverter if you want something larger. But this is perfect for adapting for backup lights if you need an emergency sort, uh, power source for lights uh, in the event you lose power or electricity, uh, need to be able to power a laptop on the go, recharge your cell phone have some other source that this is a perfect little handy way to extend the flexibility of these batteries with the limitation being 1.25 amps. So one of the flaws with this that I think is important to point out that given the limitation that this only goes up to 1.25 amps and if you're not paying attention, it's not hard to surpass that or to not have any idea what is something draws, what I would prefer to see on this is that there be some form of a circuit breaker that could be reset in the event you exceeded it, but there is no circuit breaker on in uh, on the design of this. Uh, there might be a fuse on the inside. There are tamper torque screws around the outside of this to be able to check for a fuse, but in my opinion, I think there should have been some form of a circuit breaker or an externally accessible fuse to be able to reset this in the event that you try to draw more than 1.25 amps. I'm not sure exactly what it would do, but in terms of a design flaw, I feel like that's a significant design flaw that Ego overlooked in the design of this adapter. Otherwise, it's very handy. So a perfect use of this is with a light that if there's a particular lighting uh, option that does not match your power tool battery platform of choice, in this case here, this rigid light does not match my father's uh, battery platforms, but is but this does come with a cord adapter so all he has to do is then take the, a standard electrical cord and plug this into the back of here connect it to here and it will work so just simply plug this in turn it on click on the light and then obviously I can kill it there with the power switch there on the ego adapter so this can make a variety of systems adaptable to other battery platforms. And so you can, if you want more about this light, I'll put a little link in the corner for a video all about this. But this little bit of secret sauce can make a number of options compatible if you happen to already be on the Ego Power Plus system and provides just that extra peace of mind, even you lose power, that you've got another option for keeping the lights on in your place and keeping your house running. Thanks for watching and have a great day.